Hey buds, Renamos here, talking today about a Puncture Rogue build. It's a hybrid build in a way because it's using a marksman ability, which gives us a bit of range, even though we're using dual wielded weapons. So what Puncture does is it fans out knives and slows targets hit. And we're taking Fundamental Puncture, which increases the amount of blades, as well as giving us vulnerability on those which get hit. We combo that with our Spender Flurry, which gives us a nice amount of healing, and it also procs vulnerability itself, so they synergize well. Shadow Step, it's just bread and butter for rogues ever since WoW days. You take this, you jump to a target, it's beautiful for mobility. And we're going to take Discipline Shadow Step, which is going to reduce the cooldown when you jump to a different target that you haven't jumped to. Typically you don't jump to the same target, so it just gives you extra uses. Dash is another good ability here, you get two charges, and when you take Methodical Dash, anything that's crowd controlled is going to reduce the cooldown. So because we're slowing everything, it's going to give you cooldown back. The main imbuement for most rogue builds is the shadow imbuement, and what this is doing is just making them have an explosion. And we take the path which gets vulnerability, so that also pairs nicely because everything's getting procced for increased damage, and then when they do die, they release an explosion of AoE on all the other enemies still up. Death Trap is kind of the cherry on top, kind of finishes off this build, just a huge area of a lot of damage and pulls enemies in as well for repositioning and you get a bit of reduced cooldown as well so it's just a nice addition to what already is a pretty strong aoe build i think this is going to be one of the premier builds for rogue in terms of farming dungeons so uh check it out and i'll show some gameplay now Oh, my God. 
Carrying too much. Time to do that.